What's up, everybody? I hope everybody is good out there today. And welcome to another episode of Finding Your Purpose. But before we get started, let me remind you, as I always do, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And if you would like to donate to the channel, I will leave a link to my Cash App in the description box below. All right, with that being said, let's get into today's topic. And if you follow me, you will know I was kind of leading up to this. The topic is move with a purpose. Yes, let me say that again. Move with a purpose. And the reason I'm saying that is because I'm seeing a lot of, you know, people on different social media sites, you know, expressing what they're going through and they feel like they have lost it all and they have no hope, they have no purpose, no nothing. And that's not true because no matter what you're going through, you always have a purpose. Even though during our time of need or sorrow, whatever it is, we may feel like we hit rock bottom and can't get up, but that is not the case. We must keep pushing because there are going there's going to be times rather there's going to be times where we feel like this is the end this is the end of the road this is the end of this chapter of what I'm trying to do there's nothing more that can be done but that's not always the case and the reason I say always is because one you're always going to be tested and it's up to you the individual or the individuals to jump over the hurdle so to speak cuz you're all, no matter what you do you're going to be tested there's always things to test your patience and see how far you can go, whether it be through people or different situations that pop up. You're always going to be tested, but never give up. Never give up. For example, I just recently, this morning, God, someone called me about a book festival. And for those of you that don't know, I am an author of the book called Design for a Purpose. So, yeah, they called me about a book festival that's coming up in April. And it will be in Los Angeles. And they would like me to be a speaker at the event. Which in turn, it would shed more light on my book and the reasoning for the book. And it would also shed light on my books and other projects I have coming forward. But see, the thing about that is... They butter you up with the talking, and then later the finances come. And y'all that know me, my finances are not pretty. But I'm pushing to do this. Like, for instance, I built my YouTube page when I wrote the book and I said hey you know I want to inspire people to 
keep pushing no matter what they're faced with, you know, they can make it through. So, you know, that's really what my YouTube is for. And also, you know, promoting, you know, my books and other things like that. So, you know, she did all this talking and, you know, it's really good. I, I really want to go. But I'm faced with the obstacle, which is finances. So, I just got off the phone with one of my cousins, you know. That's another thing. I'll get back to that in a minute. But here's a thing. You always have to have trustworthy people in your corner. Trustworthy people to tell you, you know, this seems like a good idea, you know, this, that, and the third, but this and that, you know, they, they open your eyes to everything. You can't just have a bunch of, you know, yes men around you. You need trustworthy people, people who have your best interests at heart. So, yeah, back to what I was saying. I just discussed with her uh, about the whole thing that the lady was saying, this and that. And, and I said, hmm, I really want to try to go to this. But, you know, the finances are what's stopping me. And so I talked to her and I said, what if I created a GoFundMe? And she was like, okay, yeah, you know, that sounds good. You know, she was saying, you know, just write, you know, the backstory of, you know, I'm an up and coming author, you know, and, you know, just give them, you know, a little bit of what's going on and why I'm trying to raise the money. And, you know, I, she was saying I can even link, you know, my book, link, you know, my podcast or, you know, my YouTube show, you know, an episode of Finding Your Purpose, anything like that. So, you know, listening to her has me inspired to at least try to do the whole GoFundMe thing because I, I, I really want to try to do this book festival. But, you know, that's a hurdle that I have to cross. I'm, I'm not going to let it stop me. You know, that's just an example of you know, you have to try to do things even when you hit a snag in the road. And another another reason why you should move with a purpose because, one, you must believe in yourself. We all have a purpose. And some of us haven't found it yet. But that doesn't mean we give up. For all we know, our purpose could be to, like, for example, I believe my purpose is to inspire others to never give up. Because if you have read my book, you would know I went through a lot of ups and downs, more downs than up first, <laughs> so, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people have just in a different way. But I want to inspire others that no matter what you're going through, you have a purpose. But the number one thing is you have to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, then you can't expect others to believe in you. 
that is one of the main things that I try to push and stress out to people. Believe in yourself. You are your number one fan. And no, you're not being cocky or anything like that. You just must know that you are your number one fan. You have to believe in yourself. You have to, you know, as I stated, I believe it was in my last episode. It might have been the episode before the last one where you must set goals, set reachable goals that you can obtain and that will give you the confidence number one it will give you the confidence and the belief that you can achieve anything you set your mind to two get rid of the naysayers because there's a lot of naysayers that They'll tear you down just because they don't have the will to do what it is that they want to do. But they see you over here pushing to no end. So it's much easier to tear someone down to make yourself look better than to build them up and build each other up. I don't know why that is, but that is one of the things that really, really annoys me. Excuse me, you guys. My eyes are watering, you know, allergies and stuff. But, yeah. See? I'm not letting that stop me. But, yes. It is much easier to tear people down then build them up and it it really irritates me that people take that route just because they feel that they don't have the ability to achieve the things that they want to we we shouldn't be like that we need to come together and move with a purpose you know it's just It's hard to see when you have a bunch of people that they're more on the negative side than they are the positive side. But I guess the easiest way to put it, if they haven't been through anything that makes you actually sit down and process the way that you're going about things in life versus the way you should be going then maybe they won't understand but it's okay they need love too but that's exactly why we should move with a purpose because hopefully us moving would motivate them to move You know, because I tell you, I have hit rock bottom before. I have been so low that you look up just to see the bottom. Let that sink in. Let me say that again in case it went over your head. I have been so low. That when I look up, it was only the bottom. But I did not let that stop me. And I am determined to spread the message that no matter what it is you're going through, don't let it stop you. Now, you may have to take a detour on that road, but 
you can still accomplish the things you set out to do. And that's one thing people need to understand. When you're listening to people, first off, we all we all know people, whether they be in our family, whether they're acquaintances, whether they're friends, whatever. We all know people that constantly brag, oh, well, you know, I did this, you know, we did that. We... And it's like, you want to tell them, like, shut up. There's no need for your bragging. That's one thing. It really, really irritates me, y'all. I hate for someone to brag. I, I really do. Like, it's okay to... Because there's a difference in showing and sharing your experiences... And then bragging. There's a difference between the two. There's a difference between the two. Sharing your experience or experiences with people versus bragging. And I hate for someone to always... Oh yeah, we we did this. We went there. Oh, it cost this much. Oh, I'm like that right there. I I already tuned them out. Like if I feel that they're bragging, I already tuned them out because I, you know, I don't like that. Don't now. I, I don't know if. They know that it's bragging because I had to confront one of my friends on that. You know, I I just came out and told her, it sounds like you're bragging. And she was like, oh, no, 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 no. (coughs) Excuse me. I just told her. It sounds like you're bragging. She's all, no, 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 you took it the wrong way. Now, sometimes we can take things the wrong way. Sometimes we can. That's why it's always nice to clarify. But yes, we do know those people that brag. And and I don't know if they know they're bragging or what. But sometimes... That kind of behavior will will knock someone down, make them feel like, well, they're over here accomplish, they're over here accomplishing this, that, and the third, and I'm maybe barely on step two of what I'm trying to accomplish, you know. And sometimes people can get discouraged. Sometimes they can. But, no, no, no. Because the number one thing we must remember in in, this, in that part is we, we all take different paths to achieve what we want. We all have different paths in life. But if we all set out to achieve what is supposed to be achieved or what we want to achieve we can do it we can do it now we may not all do it the same way because we're all different we're all gonna have different obstacles to cross over but as long as we keep on pushing we can do it you can do it you can do it Now, the second thing related to this is just even if you have negative thoughts, uh -uh, let those negative thoughts fall by the wayside. Let the negative thoughts fall by the wayside because you can't let them 
take over what you're trying to do. Which leads back into what I'm saying. If you don't believe in yourself, then how can you expect others to believe in you? You are your number one fan. That's why it is important for you to move with a purpose. Like, for instance, um, my goal is to inspire people all over if I can. But if that doesn't work, if I just inspire one person to keep on moving no matter what they are going through, what obstacles they face, if I inspire one person, then I'm doing something. Which leads me into what I wanted to bring up. Um, I was in town the other day. And I was helping this lady in the bank. And we were walking out. And somebody else was walking in. You know, I, I didn't think anything of it. And this lady was looking at me as if she knew me, but she wasn't sure. And so I just kept on doing what I was doing. And then I don't know where she says, designed for a purpose. And I'm like, oh, hey, yeah, that's me. And she was like, good work, good work. Y'all, when I tell you, I felt so overjoyed for the rest of that day. I didn't know how to act. Because that right there showed me that, hey, you're doing something. You're getting out there. You're, you know, people are starting to notice. Because for her... To call me Design for a Purpose, which is my brand name, you know, the name of my book. It started everything. For her to call me by that, she had to follow me on either one of my social media sites. Um, she had to listen to either the my show here on YouTube or she had to listen to my podcast which is on Spotify or wherever other podcasts are being played or follow me on um Instagram uh Snap uh TikTok she had to know me from one of those things because Nobody's just going to come up and be like, designed for a purpose. So, you know, that right there gave me the fire to keep pushing, push even harder because I know that it's getting out there. And, you know, that's just one small step. But it showed me that I have to keep getting it out there. I have to keep pushing. I have to keep, you know, promoting, you know, because it is it's starting to, you know, gain traction. And I love that so much. So as I always say, if I can do it, you guys can do it too. Just take the keys of what I said here today and apply them. One, believe in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, how can you expect others to believe in you? Two, set reachable goals and take your steps to reach them. Three, get rid of the naysayers 
because you don't need that weight on your back. Four, always have reliable people in your corner. Reliable people that you can go to before you make decisions, talk to them about it and see what they say. Get their feedback and if it matches yours, go for it. Go for it. Don't stop. No matter who you are, no matter your race, creed, whatever, do it. You can achieve what it is you need to. And five, don't be afraid to sit back when you achieve. It can even be the smallest goal. Don't be afraid to sit back and be like, I did that. I achieved that goal. I did that. You know, rejoice in yourself. Rejoice in yourself. And the last one, which is the most important, I believe, it is important to it is important to work and and you know push your stuff out there but don't overwork yourself to the point where you're burned out so don't forget to use those you know steps if you don't remember anything that I said in this episode, just remember those steps, especially the first one. Believe in yourself, because if you don't believe in yourself, you can't expect others to believe in you. With that being said, I am going to get out of here, but before I get out, I did remember I want to add this as a goal. Well, not a goal. I just want to put this underneath the goals or top whatever. I want you guys to all remember you all have a purpose. And we all are designed for a purpose. There is a reason we are here. We are all designed for a purpose and we all have a purpose. So therefore, if you have found your purpose, stand in it. And if you have not found your purpose, it's okay. Keep searching. It's there. It doesn't matter how big or how small it is. It is a purpose. You guys stay blessed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right. Love you. Catch you on the next episode. Stay safe.